Alright guys, so today we're going to be checking out a band that I've never heard before. They're called Elaine, and they keep popping up on my YouTube homepage. I've seen them the past couple of days, and I guess it's because they dropped a new album. It's called We Shall Remain, and this is actually going to be the title track, the music video for the title track off that album. But anyway, like I said, the past couple of days, every time I pull up YouTube, they're right there on the homepage. They got a couple hundred thousand views on this video. I'm like, alright, this might be cool. And looking at the description for the music video, it says that they are a Swedish dark symphonic metal band and it says that this track includes everything elaine uh, is known for chuggy riffs groovy rhythms smashing chorus and empowering lyrics so let's go ahead and check it out this is elaine with their title track we shall remain off their brand new album <laughs> okay. That's oh, and then we got like the the symphony, like chorus kind of thing. That riff is so groovy and catchy, and like just thrashy. All I will fall apart. I will have to rebuild from the start. Okay. Oh, I love that riff. <laughs> it's so simple, but just catchy. I like that groove it's got to it. Big chorus. Awesome. She's got awesome vocals. All right, before we get into the next verse, man, God, that, that riff is so good. <laughs> All right, so my knowledge of this type of metal, like this symphonic metal, is pretty limited, but I think an obvious uh, comparison that can be made is Nightwish. This singer sounds a pretty good bit like Floor, you know, with like the operatic type vocals. But then when she's singing softer, she actually reminds me of Amy Lee from Evanescence a little bit. As far as the music, I would say it's definitely heavier than Evanescence, and I think probably... A heavier than Nightwish and more riffy than Nightwish. I think Nightwish usually sticks to pretty much like power chords and they rely a lot on um, tu Tuamas. I think I'm saying his, his name right. Like Tuamas's um, keyboard. So I'm really enjoying like the thrashy, riffy, gallopy aspect of the music in this song. And paired with her awesome vocals, it, it sounds really good. Like especially that chorus, just it's just how big and melodic and just like epic it sounds. It sounds really good. But we're only about halfway through, so uh, let's get back into it. It's so simple. But it Oh, now we got the upbeat on the cymbal. On the crash. It sounds so good. Still doing that upbeat. It sounds good. Oh, 
Ooh, a harmony. Oh, now it's just straight thrash. <laughs> it's so good. The idea is so simple, but it's it's just fucking good, man. What an intro to Elaine. That was heavy and thrashy and epic and big and just fucking good. I am really glad I checked this band out because they're just good. The, the, the riffs, the vocals, the, the drums. I heard some cool bass lines in there. Just everything. It's just everything about it. It's so epic and heavy and just sounds so awesome. I don't really know what else to say about this one. It was awesome. I loved it. I'm gonna be checking out the rest of their album now. You guys, if there's some like, you know, really, really good tracks that I have to check out by Elaine, throw them down in the comments, let me know, and I will check them out. And uh, I appreciate you hanging out and listening to the new music with me, and I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, bye.